Hello everyone, this is Stevio. So, I really tried to get Seasons into the save game, but for whatever reason, it will not load for me. It's too bad because I really love this series. They have to redo the map. I don't know if it's the old mods. If you don't know, a lot of old mods just ain't made exactly right, and a lot of them cause lag because of it. Either they're from 17 or FS15, and they just cause a lot of lag. So, other than fixing all the old mods, I may just have to restart the series, but I will still try. So right now, we are picking up some straw bales. We really need some straw for our cattle and our horses, so that's the intent here. We're going to take these bales back to the farm so we can have some straw. So we're going to grab our 4850 and hook up to a bale processor or hay buster and bust some of these straw bales up. We're going to grab our 966 and to hook up to one of our forage wagons. Not usually used for straw or loose straw, but technically it's made to handle loose hay, which is the same thing as straw. Back our hay buster in position. We'll use our 4440 as a loader tractor to load these bales into the hay buster. There's our first straw bale getting chopped up. Takes a while, just like in real life, to chop that bale up. This time we'll grab a few bales. It's like that one bale got on in somehow. Looks like that will be the last bale that will fit into our forage wagon, so we will put this 4440 away. Also need to put our hay buster away. Now we just need to give straw to our cattle. Works like a glove. Oh, that's a real tight fit. Well, we fit. Looks like it's good for the horses. Okay, now we'll park this into our hay barn. Now we'll grab our 4850 again. This is our big tractor on the farm. We'll grab our chisel. So we're going to head down to that field that we put the manure on. We need to incorporate that manure. We're going to use this chisel for that. Get this chisel folded out, and we're off. This will prep the field just nicely for planting. It sure is beautiful God's country here in Autumn Oaks. Looks like all that manure on the soil really got that chisel dirty quick. Didn't take that long. So we're gonna get our seed from our farmyard garage. Also need to uh, get our liquid fertilizer that we're gonna apply here.
Now we need to go get our planners. So we're going to use the 1590s to plant this wheat. We'll also use our 4020 again on this 1590 cedar. So I know before you all start telling me, uh, wheat is usually not put into bags. So I really just don't have a seed tender for the wheat. So we're going to have to buy this wheat out of the bag. Now we'll start our 966 following the John Deere. Wait, is that right? Is the International supposed to be following John Deere or is that the other way around? I don't know. We'll get a little on the seat action of this international. Look at that black coal rolling. One thing about an open cab, you really get a clear view of your implement. We'll jump back into the 4850, making good time chiseling up. Oh, almost hit the 4020. Man, all that manure really pasted itself to the chisel. Had a little game crash there, so if you use course play, stay away from version 245. Terrible version. Fill this planter up before we head to the other side of the field. Jump back into the 4020. So which one do you like better, the 4020 or the International? I'm going to have to go with the International. It's a race, which one's going to win, the International or the John Deere? They look pretty level-headed, don't know. I'm thinking the John Deere's going to win. Look at that. John Deere's a clear victor there. Turns around way quicker than the International. Jump back into the International. Get some more on the seat action. The hood of this 4020 is way more narrow than that 966. I think I still like the International more even though that John Deere's making way better time now. Making pretty good time planting this field. Looks like this is the last little strip left. I'm sending the John Deere over here to help out the international finish up what's left.
We'll do a swoop out turn here so we don't collide. So we'll end it here. Thanks for watching, folks, and we will see you later, hopefully on Autumn Oaks.